Welcome back. Car inventory is hitting an all-time low. Manufacturers struggling with an ongoing chip shortage as the country's ports struggle to keep up with demand. Ashley Webster is live this morning at the Port of Georgia with more. Ashley, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Maria. Boy, do I have a deal for you. How about this Chevy Spark? It was built in Korea. It's sitting here at the Port of Brunswick, and it's going to go to a dealership in the land in the next few days or so. It's just one of the thousands of vehicles here. The Port of Brunswick, by the way, the second busiest hub for the importing and exporting of vehicles uh, in the United States. And perhaps the issue here is not so much uh, the jam in ports, the ports are reporting that there are lower inventories, not as many cars coming in. Yes, we have 32,000 here, but this facility could hold 70,000 uh, vehicles. The problem is chip shortage. Those chips that now make our cars, computers on wheels, they're just still in short supply, and that supply chain is hurting. Uh, I swung by the Ford dealership uh, and spoke to Lee King, the owner, and asked him, how many cars do you have on your lot, new cars, for sale right now? And here's what he told me. Say a year and a half ago, we would have had 120, 125 new vehicles on the ground. Right now, we have four. Can you believe that? four cars normally 120 to 125 as soon as they come in lee says they go off the lot many of them are pre-ordered and customers waiting four to five months now because of that situation prices have gone up take a look at the new vehicle price the average uh, for april of this year came in at forty six thousand five hundred and twenty six dollars that is up 13 percent year over year and it's the same story for the used cars. Um, they, too, are prices going through the roof. The average in April for a used car, $30,830. That up nearly 23% year over year. So the story here is a broken supply chain brought on by a chip shortage, which, uh, you know, uh, means that dealers don't have any vehicles to sell. In fact, Lee told me, just for an example, Maria, an F-150 has 1,400 chips inside it just think about that 1400 chips and getting ford f-150 right now is no easy task they're in high demand but production can't keep up with it back to you wow no wonder people are buying used cars they've got the chips ashley thanks yes. very much ashley webster this morning in the port sure. of georgia thank you sir the next hour